Hi YouTube, in this video I will be explaining how to change out a two lamp ballast specifically for T5 lamps. Now ballast is a component that's used to control fluorescent lamps in a fluorescent fixture like this. Here's our ballast. So we are installing this ballast. We're replacing the ballast in this light because it's gone out with this particular ballast. They both are T5 ballasts. Now, it's two things, two very important things to consider when changing out a ballast. Number one, you need to consider the voltage. So whatever the voltage is that's going to your light, you need to make sure to get a ballast that's rated for that particular voltage. For example, if this light is being controlled by 120 volts, your ballast need to be rated for 120 volts. If this light is being controlled by 277 volts, your ballast need to be rated for 277 volts. If you put 120 volt rated ballast in a 277 volt circuit, you'll fry or burn up the ballast. If you put a 277 volt ballast uh, in a 120 volt circuit, that may be okay, but it still may not work properly. So um, here's the ballast that we'll be installing today. We'll be replacing the ballast in this light with this particular ballast. And notice that this particular ballast is rated for 120 volts and is also rated for 277 volts. So you always need to consider the voltage. The next important thing you need to consider is the type of bulbs or type of lamps because not every lamp work with every ballast. So not every ballast can control every lamp. Like for example, this lamp is called a T12 lamp. Notice how large it is compared to these next two lamps I'm about to show you. This lamp is a T8 lamp. It's thinner than the T12 lamp. And the next lamp here is called a T5 lamp. It's a lot thinner. So today, the ballast that we're going to install will be controlling this type of lamp, this T5 lamp. And not every lamp controls or work well or compatible with every ballast. So the ballast that we're about to install is compatible with this T5 lamp. Uh, also, uh, it'll be written on the ballast, which, excuse me, it's upside down. Okay, not every ballast controls every lamp, so the lamps that the ballast control would be written somewhere on the lamp. I mean, it would be written somewhere on the ballast. So somewhere on this ballast, it'll say T5 lamps. Okay, so now then, we are ready to get started. We'll get started by first, let's take our reflector down. We'll go ahead and take our T5 bulbs out so that we don't get them broke. We can probably do it with them in, but we don't want to get them broke, okay? Let's take them out. All right, let's take off our cover. All right, got our cover off. All right, okay, here's the bad ballast. This is the ballast that we're about to replace. Let me pull the camera back so you can clearly see. See the ballast good, okay. So this is the ballast we're about to replace here. So let me direct your attention over here. How we're going to disconnect the power first. Okay. See this little thing here? It's called a tombstone. This little yellow thing. Not, I'm sorry. It's not called a tombstone. It's called a quick disconnect. This is called a quick disconnect. And so what we want to do is unplug this and that will disconnect the power so that we don't get shocked. So I'm going to disconnect so now the power is disconnected from this ballast. We can now remove this ballast. The power is still here. 
All right, so now what we want to do is direct our camera back to our ballast. Now, all we have to do is just simply cut the wires off first. I'll start by cutting the wires off. I'll explain what the wires are when we get to re reinstalling the ballast. Okay, cut these and cut these. So we are not going to cut our white and black. They're on the other side of the tombstone and they're disconnected. And we'll have to take this little piece off here and put it on our next ballast. That's part of the tombstone. So now we're ready to remove the ballast. Okay. All right. All right. So we take the old ballast out. Now, the two ballasts, they, they look physically different. But they both control T10 lamps. I'm pardon me, they both control T5 lamps, but they look different. See, this one's a lot shorter than the one that we're taking out, but it doesn't matter. They both control T5 lamps. They also made by two different manufacturers. This ballast we removed is made by American Ballast. This ballast that we're about to put in. It's made by Vans. Okay, now we are going to install the ballast in a different location. We're about to install it in a different location, but it doesn't matter. Okay, we're going to install our new ballast. Move this down so you can see. We are going to install our new ballast here. Just slide it on like that. And let me get my screwdriver here. So you most most lights have a little part in it where you just pardon me. Where you just uh slide the ballast there. Excuse me. Uh, give me a minute. I'm struggling here. All right. And there, there you have. Okay. It's physically put in there. Now, here's what we have here. So, on this ballast, we have two red wires and two blue wires. They just simply tap to two red wires and two blue wires on this end right here. And you have two yellow wires. They simply tap to the two yellow wires here. So basically, it's just simple color matching. So all we're doing, we're just going to simple, simply color match. Um, also, these things on here, they're just like wire nuts. But they're a little bit faster. These are called Wagos. So all I got to do is strip the wires and place them in these Wagos. All right. So... So I got my two red wires from the other end, and all I have to do is strip them. And just simply uh, stab them in the way goes. And it'll just like be on the wire net. So I'll just take one red wire, stub it, and away go. It's just like a wire nut. Take the other red wire, stir a bit in a way go. Okay. Then I got two blue wires. So you got two blue wires and two red wires on one end. Same here. You strip. Just strip the blue wires off. And just simply plug them in the way goes. This is a lot faster than wire nuts. It's a lot faster. Okay. Then I just kind of uh, roll them up in. All right. Like that. And you just do the same thing with the yellow wires. These, these yellow wires here terminate with these yellow wires here. So you just simply 
stripped and terminated. So all you doing is color matching. There again, this is for the T5 lamp. So the T12 or T8 lamp balances may be done different, may have a different color set of wires. So now I've terminated all my wires. Okay. Now I can simply plug in, plug my my disconnect together, my little yellow disconnect here. Plug it together. Okay. And we are ready to put everything back together. All right. To make sure all the wires are underneath and not exposed, it can be difficult sometimes. I'm gonna put those in. All right. Now we can put our bulbs back in. All right. Put our bulbs in. And put our cover on. Excuse me. And there you have. Now we're ready to see if it works. And there you have. And that is how you change out a two lamp ballast specifically for T5 bulbs. Now, there may be different amounts of wires and different color wires on uh, a ballast for T12s or T8s. So that is how. Also, another thing I want to show you too. I can show you this on the bad balance. Most balances, most of them will have a diagram on them for how you actually uh, wire it up in case uh, you may have missed something in one of the videos that you look at. You can always go by this diagram. I thank you for watching. I hope you can benefit from it. There again, uh, I'll be making more videos in the future. Thanks again.